Rome, Italy's capital and home to the Internationale Biennale d'Italia, an ATP World Tour Masters 1000 event. This year's final would be contested between defending and seven-time champion Rafael Nadal and the two-time champion Novak Djokovic. A week earlier, the Serb had missed Madrid with a wrist injury. I decided to take a, a week of not playing a, a tournament and uh, practice and, and follow the process of recovery and, of course, the strengthening the wrist and uh, the tendons and muscles. And now I'm, I'm, I'm feeling almost, as I said, close to maximum and ready to play. As the battle between Nadal and Djokovic hots up for world number one, Rafa was pleased to have secured 1,000 Emirates ATP ranking points by claiming the Madrid title. Madrid is an important victory for me, 1,000 points, another Masters title. And winning at home is always makes the, the victory a little bit more special, so very happy for, for everything. And now starts another important week for, for me here in Rome, and we'll see. If I play well, if I'm healthy, if I'm, you know, uh, continuously making a, a, a success in the big events, I'll, I'll have a bigger, you know, bigger chance to get to number one of the world. But again, it, you know, I, I'm not uh, calculating so much on the points that I'm dropping or I'm gaining or, or, or Nadal or any other opponent that I have. It's, it's, uh, it's more of a priority to me to really uh, play well and to, to try to win every match that, I, that, I'm, that, I'm, that I'm facing. So, with Nadal and Djokovic once again the last men standing, the stage was set for a thrilling conclusion to the 2014 Internationale Biennale d'Italia. Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, as the clay season gathers pace, we head to Germany for the second edition of the Dusseldorf Open. And it's nice to be back. We'll have all the action from this year's Open Denise Côte d'Azur in France. Don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com for your 24-7 breaking news and talk with us on Facebook and Twitter in English and Spanish. See you next week.